Welcome to Shop Stop. It's getting that time of year where the nights are getting colder and maybe we should be thinking about uh, the coolant level or the antifreeze in a lot of our vehicles. We have a, a small tractor here and we're going to check and make sure that our uh, concentration in our uh, cooling system is adequate. Well, the first thing you want to do when you, uh, before you open your system is, is check to make sure that it's safe to open and put your hand on it, hold it on there and make sure you can hold your hand there for a minute or two uh, so that it's not so dead gum hot that it, it blows uh, hot water out at you. But I mean, if it's hot, don't just keep holding your hand there. Be smart about it. Open the lid of it. Uh, we've got a standard little uh, antifreeze tester you can pick up at most of your auto parts store. And we're going to pull a little of this up in here. Uh, pull a little more up in there. Make sure we, we've got enough to float our gauge. And we can see the, the little red dial in here where it's moving to. And we're at about uh, minus 10 degrees. So, uh, so we're probably all right for this tractor for uh, quite a few more days. Now what would we have done if, say, it was up to 32 degrees? Well, you can add back, uh, you, you can add uh, some more antifreeze to it. Make sure that you're using the correct antifreeze for the vehicle that you're, that you're using. Uh, and then, uh, or if you want to just bring it back up to level with uh, water, uh, it's the easy thing to do is just to get the water hose and put it in. But uh, if we want to maintain the correct pH then uh, in our coolant, then we need to use distilled water. There's some pretty easy ways to check that. Uh, we've just uh, gone down to our uh, local auto parts store and picked up some uh, test strips. Okay, these test strips, they're pretty simple to use. Uh, just follow directions on each package because every, every vendor is different. But this particular strip, you just dip in briefly and then flip it. And then you can see that we've got a color change. The lower one is an indicator of our ethylene glycol level. The upper one is our pH. And uh, the, on the bottle, it tells us that that's about a 10 on the pH scale, which is, uh, is not an acidic end, but it's on the basic end. It also tells us that we probably ought to change our coolant. And we ought to change our coolant every two years. Uh, Randy can explain a little bit about why you should do do the coolant changes? Well, the reason you want to make sure your coolant is, is changed regularly is to make sure that the additives in the coolant are, are working correctly. Those are the, the things that tend to break down. Uh, if, uh, if we're on the basic end of the chart, then it's time to change it. If we get on the acetic end of the chart, then we've probably got a problem somewhere and we can run into uh, some corrosion inside our system and we need to have that checked out. That's it for Shop Stop today. Tune in next week.